Let's make history. Manhattan's highest peak is Washington Heights, which was named after the American Revolutionary War's Fort Washington. Washington Heights was dotted with luxurious mansions, one of which belonged to the famous painter and naturalist John James Audubon, who Washington Heights Audubon Ballroom, many years later, would be the setting where Malcolm X was killed. It was also the home of the Major League Baseball team, the Highlanders, who later became the New York Yankees. Their stadium, Hilltop Park, was in Washington Heights. And Hilltop Park was active from 1903 to 1913, had a 10-year run. Also, there was the Giants, who played at the famous Polo Ground, but that's more like Harlem, but it's borderline Washington Heights, because wa Harlem ends and Washington Heights begins at 155th. But it wasn't until the subway came to Washington Heights in right at the turn of the century, early 1900s, just before 19, the 1910s rolled around, subway came to Washington Heights and that's when it officially became part of New York because it was so distant. It was one of the last sections of Manhattan to be developed. As this happened, a lot of the immigrants began to make their way uptown because Lower Manhattan was so congested. The rich ditched the district for the Upper East Side, which was becoming more and more developed. Fifth Avenue in the 80s and 90s, that area. So as the rich departed, first it was the Irish who consumed that vacancy. Then uh, Jews, circa World War II, escaping Nazi Germany. Other Eastern European groups as well. Even the Germans occupied Washington Heights for some time. It was called Frankfurt on the Hudson for a short period. Initially, the Hispanics who occupied Washington Heights after the Jews and Germans post-World War II was Puerto Ricans and Cubans. Because you gotta remember, it was because of the Cuban Revolution, because of the turmoil going on in Cuba, many Cubans flocked to New York City, were exiled, so to speak. Uh, and it was Puerto Ricans and Cubans at first, then Dominicans came and dominated the neighborhood. It's the highest concentration of Dominicans aside from the Dominican Republic. That started in about the 1970s. And then by the time the 80s rolled around, forget it, Washington Heights was basically little DR. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to Will Flores TV on YouTube. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and X.